Grab your cup of coffee and today we are going to talk about the review of Biology 101. Hey everyone, you know we spent the past several weeks talking about um, movies as literature and then last week we talked about our overall plan of homeschooling and kind of my goal is to try to do one homeschooling video once a week for you guys unless we're traveling and then if we're traveling you might see this a little bit more delayed than uh, the one that we just filmed for last week. Um, but if we're not doing travel videos then you will see this like the next week. But the next subject i really want to talk to you guys about was our review of the biology 101 last year you saw us do the unboxing um biology 101 is part of a series you can buy this individually but it's part of a series that you can purchase through answers in genesis if you're still here this is a creation science biology class and if you're still here so some people i try to be open and honest about the fact that we do christian homeschooling but I think sometimes people just like will get halfway through a video and be like, wait, what? And so like I'm trying to go ahead and point out like if you're not a fan of the creation science science teaching ways, then this is probably not for you. Because one of the reasons I absolutely love this is this Biology 101 started with Genesis 1-1 and I absolutely love this process. So let me talk a, bit, a little bit more about how we led up to even starting this program, uh, how we taught through it, and how we're going to be using the 101 series moving forward. So, uh, summer of 2022, end of 2020, no, yeah, so no, winter of 2022, I started contacting um, guidance counselor, and some of you know we adopted a teenager, and during that year, I said, you know, she learns different from my other kids, and I love the challenge, I want to teach her, she's willing to learn from home, she wants to stay homeschooled, what do I do? She just learns different. And the guidance counselor was like, hey, I've been waiting for this. Cause she had been trying to convince me for years to get outside of just using box curriculum. Okay, let me pause right here. If you just use box curriculum and that's what works best for your family, go for it. But it wasn't working for my family. As a travel schooling family and somebody who loves being a little more interactive with some classes, but not with others, the the concept of sitting down with a workbook reading it answering questions moving on was not for our family some families they love that because then their mindset is do the workbook get done and then we can do the hands-on but for me it was stress because then my brain was like no we can't do anything until this is done and like other people they can lay it down and move on i couldn't so like for our family personally for our family personally it didn't work for other families it will for our family that wasn't working and i didn't i had yet to find a science curriculum that I loved. Now Monarch with the elementary school grades, they only do third through fifth of middle elementary school on Monarch. I loved the science. It was a lot more hands-on. There were worksheets you could print out if you wanted it. There were videos to go with it. There was reading to go with it. My only child to go through elementary school Monarch loved it and I loved it. But then when it got to middle school, and again, my personal opinion, if, if you're new, my personal opinion is middle school in the public school mindset is a placeholder because kids have to do 13 years of school. So like, I'm not a huge fan of like middle school work. I'm not because most of it gets repeated in high school anyways, and you have to do high school to go to college. So like, I couldn't find anything middle school that I ever liked. So then when we got to high school, I'm like, oh, here we go again. Science, yay. And science is not one of my strong points. So then we're talking and she's like, have you, and she she told me before, but I had already purchased Monarch for the year when she told me this before. But then she told me again. She's like, you want to try the 101 series again? <laughs> so then I start looking into it and I go to the Andrews and Genesis website and they had it on sale for like $170 for all three. So my mind, whenever I'm looking at curriculum, I'm normally not like a math based person, but I'm budget, I'm a budgeter, which is crazy. My husband's more the math minded person, but I'm the budgeter. I'm the one that looks at like the budget and the fiscal and all the like, the, okay, we've earned this, this, and this. So like my mind started going $170 divided by three classes divided by four kids. Cause none of the kids had taken biology, chemistry, or physics yet, which are the three included in the 101 series is the biology, chemistry, physics. If you're looking for something for middle school, Ancient Genesis does have books you can purchase to teach middle school, but the DVDs are for high school only, biology, chemistry, and physics only. Um, but they do have other courses 
that you can purchase. I was looking at budget. I was like $170 divided by three classes. Now divide that by four kids and everything was included. I was like, this is, this is a thing. So we took one week of our paycheck and set aside $170 to purchase this. I know I'll never have to purchase a science curriculum ever again for any of my high school kids. So that was kind of a pro of that. Um, one of the cons, like I'm gonna go through pros and cons as I talk about it. One of the cons was, this is a DVD. Now for our family, that's not a problem because we have a Blu-ray player because there's some things I still prefer having physical copies of. Just, just me personally, I just prefer having physical copies of it so that way we can watch it when we want we had a year where we did not have disney plus and there were some movies that i still wanted them to have so like we bought dvd collection of them like from thrift stores or discount at walmart whatever um number two i have a minivan my minivan has a dvd player not a blu-ray player so i was fine buying dvds that wasn't the problem the other con of buying biology 101 is number one if you don't have a dvd player eh. number two <laughs> fun fact when we went to purchase a computer, my laptop had broken and I needed a computer that could edit YouTube videos. I needed something that could run Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe Photoshop for my thumbnails, um, Adobe, I think it's Media Encoder. There's another one I use for like when I do voiceovers. I don't do a lot of them because I don't have a great setup for voiceovers. Um, but there's another one I use for voiceovers or when I need to edit an audio on a specific clip. Um, but like we have the entire Adobe collection and also like I can make my own PDFs for people that want like PDFs of like curriculum and things of when I build, when I build my own curriculum, I can make those into PDFs and sell or give them to people. But like I needed something around all that. The only thing that they had at the time was like, look, most YouTubers are moving to gaming PCs because it's the only thing that can keep up with the speed, the upload speed of YouTube, the uh, processing speed of Premiere Pro. Cause like it would take like 45 minutes for my laptop to process a 10 minute video. It was crazy. So we bought a gaming PC. Fun fact, all gaming PCs starting in about 2020, I think was when we purchased it, um, do not have disc drives. The downside to this is if you do not have a separate disc drive for your computer, which we end up buying one, 100% for this is all of the book work is on a PDF format that you have to download from here. Now, I've heard some people say that if you contact them and email them, they'll email you a PDF. I, that's not confirmed. You possibly could. I don't know. We personally bought like a separate disk drive that will plug into the USB, USB or HDMI. I can't remember that's Matt's field. Um, and Matt plugs it in. He downloads all the, I think I have all of them now. He downloads all of them. And what it does is there's two separate things on here. So one of them is what they call the guidebook. It has all of the written work that you read to go along with the video, all of the quizzes. And then what we do is because we have Adobe, we can edit PDFs. Um, only the person who owns the Adobe subscription can. So like our whole family shares the Adobe thing, but you can only log into two at a time that can edit. So because I'm the primary owner of, or yeah, owner of our copy of Adobe, I can go in and edit. So what I do is I will take the kid's guidebook before they get it. I will open it in Adobe and I will delete the answer sheet to the quizzes. They can still look at the quizzes. I'm fine with my kids seeing quizzes before you do them. Um, it's the equivalent of like some classes in high school and college, they do open book quizzes. So for me, I'm fine with them seeing the quizzes to be like, hey, this wasn't in the video, maybe I should go back and look up this information before the quiz. Now, are they gonna get to open that while they're doing the quiz? No, but I still want them to be able, I'm fine with them going back and look. If you don't want your kids to see the quizzes at all, um, you can go into Adobe and you can delete a page and all the quizzes are on one page together. Like there's not gonna be a quiz on uh, half of a page and then reading work. No, it's all quizzes. So like you can delete just the quizzes, you can delete just the answer sheets to the quizzes. And then what I do is I rename it um, guidebook for teens and then I have three files on my computer. My copy of the guidebook that has the answers and the quizzes, uh, the copy for the teens. And then there's also a third one called the accreditation program. The accreditation program for this DVD is amazing because it literally maps it out week by week. And you can also, if you wanted to, you could actually print it out and you can check off as you go. Okay. Day, day one, like, and another thing I love about it too is, I'll just plug this in here, it only does three to four school days a week. If you saw last week's video, we only do three to four school days a week. So, what it does, and it breaks it down into like, 
if your state requires X number of hours to complete a credit, it breaks that down. So like, it'll be like day one, watch the video. And like all the videos on here, I'm looking at the back of it. All the videos on here will say how long it is. Like the first video is 15 minutes. So day one, 15 minute watching, check off. Uh, day two, and I won't tell you like what all's on there cause that's part of their copyright. But like day two, it'll be an activity. I will say like this. So like sometimes on there for the accreditation, it may be like you have to go check out library books. And sometimes one of the other things I like about it too is they change it up. Like sometimes you can do juvenile books or sometimes they'll specify non-juvenile books. Or if you don't have access to a library, a digital library, it also says you can supplement videos. Well, Answers in Genesis sells this. And I think actually the, it's called the 101 series.com. I think somebody also said like master books sells this, but, um, the other thing too, is that we found it's now not, again, it's not put out by answers in Genesis answers in Genesis sells it, but this is biology. A lot of the videos that we were like, well, I don't, I can't really find a video on it. Answers in Genesis kids page had some kind of video that related to it. Um, so like if you don't have access to the books, answers in Genesis, check out their entire library on YouTube and their website you're probably gonna find a video that you could use in place. And then it also breaks the lab work apart and tells you like, um, now the chemistry one, I'll get to that next week, but it actually had like a shopping list to go with. I don't think the biology one did that um, because the biology actually has less lab work than the chemistry one. The biology one had more field trips. And that was the other cool thing it did too, was like it broke down, okay, this week you're studying this, so you're gonna do a field trip with this. And then it would give, give you like field trip ideas for each thing or like the lab work might be like you're petting your animal at home and then you're like hey your animal has how many legs and can you feel your animal's heartbeat you know stuff like that so it was I, I really like the way that everything was I really like the way everything was break, broken down in the accreditation program so those do come with it and I will show you um, what it does is there's several DVDs in here on the last DVD if you look at the bottom it says accreditation program so all you have to do is put that dvd in download the, P the, th the two pdfs edit them if you want before you send them to your kids and then you're good to go and so what i do is once i edit them i email them to my teenagers um but so let's start at biology 101 how does it start it literally starts with genesis 1 1 and it goes through it teaches biology through creation week so like the first disc is introduction. All the discs, there's an introduction video, and I love that because it's like, I like starting a subject out slowly, but also like with the information you need of, here's how this class is gonna go for the year. So I love like video teaching classes where we can do like introduction videos for like day one. But then like all the discs are broken up and everything is broken up by days of creation. And then like the ones where there's multiple things that happen on that day of creation, they'll break those up. So it 100% starts at day one of creation and then goes all the way through the six days of creation. And then it also breaks apart like mankind from the rest of it. And then genetics and cells are also separate. So like it's all separate together. So how did I use it? So one of the things we would do was number one, I would schedule like one day a week to watch the biology 101. Now, if um, one of my children wanted to go back and watch it again, instead of reading the book work, I was okay with that. And so far we found that like, that actually worked watching it over and over again was just as beneficial as watching it once and then reading book work to go with it. There were a couple of times in the book work they would be honest and say, hey, we did this in the video. It was an accident. Like one time they accidentally misnamed a bird call that was on the uh, aviation video for a different bird. And they mentioned it in the book work and said, oops, sorry, here's what it actually is. But then that wasn't on the quiz, so it wasn't a problem. Um, so we would watch the video and then we would go through and I'd be like, you know, yeah, we could do this hands-on. Or also I could be like, you know, I don't really wanna do that hands-on or that field trip, let's do this instead. So I had the liberty to do that. Um, and then we would go step by step. The other thing I loved about it too was like I said, we have a DVD player in our van and we did a lot of travel schooling last year and especially over the summer. So. It's based, Biology 101, if you're going through Days of Creation, it was mostly animals, and it was mostly not talking about maturation of animals. And I think you know what I mean when I say maturation, because if I use other words, this video is going to get flagged. Let's just leave it there. Um, it doesn't really deeply cover that, which is another reason why I like more of like a Christian perspective of it, because like, I feel like talking about maturation constantly in science is not really 
necessary and I just feel like it's I don't know I, I it creeps me out when people like overemphasize maturation when they talk about specific subjects so it doesn't it talks about like uh biology it literally talks about the biology of these animals and like how they're different and what and actually like what biology is um but one of the, so like again it's just animals so i would take this with me and whatever unit we were on we would put that in the uh dvd player and we would watch it while we were going shopping or whatnot and i saw one of my kids who was struggling with science the year before make all a's this past year in biology one of the things i did different was and the reason why I waited so long to do the biology 101 review, even though uh, my two now have already started chemistry, was when I saw on here that they had mankind and I went through the uh, the accreditation, sort of reading what all was going to be in mankind, I was like, you know what? Those two just finished 10th. They're fixing to go into 11th. I have a rising 9th grader. Why don't we take all of the mankind out of biology save it and use all of that to teach three weeks of our 17 week health class. So that's what we did was, um, and I'll talk about health in another video and I am going to be selling a complete health course of what we did in the curriculum that I built for our health class for this year with links to everything. And this is part of, and that's why I kind of want to mention it here is because if you don't do this and you won't be able to do the health class specifically exactly the way we did it, um, but yeah, so there's three different videos on here for mankind. Mankind part one was basically like internal organs, but mankind part two gets into maturation and children, but in a very biblical mindset way. And I love that. So what I did was I pulled mankind one and two out of here. I put it into the health class for this year. And then we took a one week break to talk about maturation and biblical marriage and setting boundaries. And then this week, we just finished the video on cells and genetics. The other thing I love about cells and genetics was they talked about it from a biblical perspective of could science actually use cells and genetics to help people today, but why do we need to be careful about boundaries that we cross when it comes to putting science before God, basically. Um, it's a really controversial topic so like but he handled it in such a graceful way where it kind of like left kids thinking what do we think about cells and genetics how does that work and you know and i love the way that that was handled but i would 100 percent if i like ever had to start over again and like like ever fostered and adopted more kids and had to start over again i would still 100 percent do that i would take mankind out the cells and genetics out and I would put it in a health class. Now, if you want to do more health class where like you don't have to talk about any of those topics and you would, and also like if you don't want to have the talk with maturation during a school day with your kids, you don't have to. Basically what it does on that mankind part two is it talks about the growth of the child pre coming in, pre taking their first breath in this world. And I'm trying to use words to where this video is not going to get flat. All this video will probably get flagged because I said God and Jesus. So YouTube is sometimes weird. But anyways, I would still do it. I would still do the same thing all over again. And because my eighth grader, even though she's not taking health credit this year because she can only take one high school course for eighth grade, I'm not going to recover those topics again. I'll just do something else for three weeks of health with her. But I would definitely do that all over again. And then, like if you wanted to, you could still do all of it in one year because I think the biology, more so than even the chemistry we've already started, is self-paced enough to where you could fit everything into one school year without doing year-round. But overall, my overall perspective was I was really hesitant. I was like, how much could they actually learn from just watching a video and answering questions? And I was blown away because it's so in-depth from biblical perspective, it's taught in a way that makes sense like every time he uses a big word he breaks it down to its meaning and compares it to something that kids would understand or teenagers would understand and i love that way of teaching of breaking it down plus like if there were some things that we wanted to talk about we could pause it talk about it go right back to the video and then for the ones that want to read the book or to go with it it'll help you know just some little it's more like more additional information it's not even like you have to read the book or to go with it so for my visual learner this worked great for my ap learner who also does like extra book work to go with hers it worked great covering topics that were kind of difficult topics to talk about because mankind is a difficult topic to talk about it was 
where I needed it to be to help me through this transition and through teaching high school without like completely stressing it out. So would I recommend using this? Absolutely. Am I looking forward to, I'm already, we're already five weeks into chemistry. I'm already loving the way he does it. So, oh, that's one more thing I wanted to mention. So like my mindset, I've talked about this before. I am more like history and literature based like my mindset i can do better with history and literature my husband does better with math and science so we make a really good pair when it comes to homeschooling our kids this teaches it in a way where it's history and science together so like for me where i'm more history based and i struggle with science i was watching this with the kids and i was like oh that's a really cool way of teaching i wish i could have taken this in high school and done high school science this way and then for my, my more science minded ones they loved all the additional information that was in here and on the worksheets and how you could add in more things from other sources to do it but that's my review guys i really really enjoy this i if you have a visual dyslexic high school learner somebody who may be a little more hesitant with science and you want a biblical based one i would really highly recommend this i'm just not i'm not they're not a sponsor or anything i'm just trying to give an open honest review and i've reviewed other science curriculums i was not a fan of the way that abeka did it monarch middle and high school was really rough but i mean if you need that it's it's there but I I would definitely I really love the way this is done because like I said it teaches from a way like if you have a family of both like we do where you have both dyslexic and AP and in the mid in between it covered all the bases that we needed and like I said it also was able to we were able to use part of it for our health class as well to kind of springboard us into um, from two of my kids into their 11th grade year and one of my kids into their ninth grade year. But that's it for today's video, you guys. Thank you to all of our members for supporting this content and allowing us to continue making videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of our new people who have been watching all the homeschool videos, the shopping hauls. Um, I'm really, really, really hoping to get some field trips in soon and that'll be more uh, travel videos for you guys. But in the meantime, thank you to all of you for subscribing, liking, watching, positive comments, and we will see you next time.